Imagine a world where the temperature is hot enough to melt lead. That's Venus for you, the hottest planet in our solar system. You might be thinking, shouldn't Mercury, the planet closest to the Sun, be the hottest? Well, that's where things get interesting. Venus, the second planet from the Sun and Earth's nearest planetary neighbor, defies our intuition. Its scorching temperature is not just because of its proximity to the Sun, but largely due to its incredibly thick atmosphere. This atmosphere is chock full of the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide creating a sort of thermal blanket around the planet. This blanket traps the sun's heat, causing temperatures to skyrocket. But it's not just carbon dioxide at play here. Venus's atmosphere also contains clouds of sulfuric acid. These aren't your average rain clouds though. These clouds further contribute to Venus's extreme heat by reflecting sunlight back down to the planet's surface, instead of allowing it to escape into space. This phenomenon, known as the greenhouse effect, is essentially a one-two punch of heat-trapping power. Because of this super-effective greenhouse effect, Venus's surface temperature averages around 867 degrees Fahrenheit, or 464 degrees Celsius, day and night. That's hotter than the surface of Mercury, even though Mercury is closer to the Sun. This makes Venus not just warm, not just hot, but the hottest planet in our solar system. Moreover, Venus hardly rotates at all, this means that one day on Venus lasts as long as 243 Earth days. Imagine that, a single day hotter than the surface of a pizza oven lasting nearly two-thirds of an Earth year. So, despite Mercury's closer proximity to the Sun, Venus takes the crown for the hottest planet thanks to its dense and punishing atmosphere. It's a blistering, broiling and boiling world where even the most heat-hardy Earth creatures would find it impossible to survive. Welcome to Venus. Now what if we told you it rains acid on Venus and a day lasts longer than a year? Imagine this, instead of the refreshing water droplets we're used to on Earth, Venus is showered with sulfuric acid. Quite the weather forecast, isn't it? This sulfuric acid rain is part of Venus's thick, dense atmosphere which is composed mostly of carbon dioxide. This acid rain doesn't reach the surface though, it evaporates mid-air due to the intense heat creating a cycle of acid rain evaporation that contributes to Venus's infernal climate. It's a fascinating and terrifying process, a stark reminder of how different and inhospitable other worlds can be. But that's not the only thing that sets Venus apart. The planet spins on its axis at an incredibly slow pace. How slow, you ask? Well, Venus's rotation period is the longest of any planet in our solar system. It's so slow that a single day on Venus lasts longer than a Venusian year. To put it into perspective, one day on Earth is 24 hours, but on Venus, a day lasts for about 243 Earth days. That's right, the time it takes Venus to rotate once on its axis is longer than its 225 Earth day orbit around the Sun. Talk about a long day at the office. This slow rotation has some interesting effects. For one, it makes the planet's surface temperature almost uniform, with little variation between day and night. It also means Venus doesn't have a significant magnetic field like Earth. Now imagine this. Standing on Venus, you'd witness a sunrise only once every 116 Earth days. And if that's not strange enough, the sun would rise in the west and set in the east, the complete opposite of what we're used to here on Earth. So on Venus, you'd be drenched in acid rain while experiencing a day that lasts over 243 Earth days. It certainly puts a new spin on the phrase alien world, doesn't it? Venus, Earth's closest planetary neighbor is often termed as our planet's evil twin. Despite the distance that separates them, these two share a surprising amount of similarities. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Venus and Earth are nearly identical in size, with Venus having about 95% of Earth's diameter. This similarity extends to their mass too, with Venus weighing in at about 80% of Earth's mass. This means that the gravity on Venus is not too different from what we experience here on Earth. If you were to stand on Venus you'd feel about 90% of the weight you feel on Earth. But despite these remarkable similarities, Venus and Earth couldn't be more different when it comes to their atmospheres. While Earth's atmosphere is a life-sustaining blend of nitrogen, oxygen, and a dash of other gases, Venus's atmosphere is a thick, toxic blanket, composed mainly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. This extreme greenhouse effect makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system, even hotter than Mercury, which is closer to the Sun. This toxic atmosphere also creates a crushing pressure that is about 92 times greater than Earth's atmospheric pressure. It's like being one kilometer deep in the ocean. So, while Venus might be similar to Earth in size and gravity, its atmosphere makes it a far cry from our blue planet. Did you know Venus, named after a Roman goddess, has an iron core but no magnetic field? 
Yes, you heard that right. The planet Venus, our closest neighbor, has a core similar to Earth's made mostly of iron. But unlike Earth, Venus does not have a magnetic field. This lack of a magnetic field is due to Venus's slow rotation on its axis. The fast rotation of Earth's liquid iron core generates our planet's magnetic field. But Venus, rotating at a leisurely pace, doesn't create the same dynamo effect. This absence of a magnetic field leaves Venus unprotected from solar winds, which strip away its atmosphere over time. Now, let's shift gears and talk about Venus's namesake. Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Why, you might ask? Well, when viewed from Earth, Venus is one of the brightest objects in the night sky, outshone only by our moon. Its dazzling brightness led ancient Romans to name it after their goddess of beauty. But don't let the name fool you. Venus might carry the name of a goddess associated with love and beauty, but its surface conditions could hardly be described as heavenly. Its scorching temperature, high pressure and acid rain make it a rather hostile environment for life as we know it. So, Venus, despite its harsh and hostile environment, carries the name of the Roman goddess of love and beauty, a stark contrast indeed.